Hello, everyone. This is me. Yeah, every day I come out with a video. On this journey, you will find out the tiny home, my farming, and guinea pigs and grandkids. You will find out about. Uh, this is one channel right here in my hand here. Did you get the one channel? Okay. This is the second channel. You got the second channel, y'all? That is my second channel. Okay. Okay. Now, this is my third channel. Right there. Okay. You all, come on over there. Subscribe and like. Hey, hit them thumbs up. That really is appreciated. And I'll talk to you later. Hello, everybody. I changed directions, y'all. Because of the wind. Um, so now, you guys will be looking at the cornfield. Hopefully, it is not a lot of wind in this. So, you all, I'm coming on here to... Uh, tell you how my journey is going so far y'all I didn't know I had so much junk I really didn't y'all that wasn't a purpose and now that I think about it I was sitting down at my desk and I was like how did I get all of this stuff and it was like Phyllis you the one who didn't take nothing out you put it in but you wasn't taking it out so this time by me getting my tiny home, it will be taken out. If I bring a chair in, let's say I got three chairs, but I need another chair. So I go get me another chair, but another chair got to come out. That's what I'm going to do. And you guys remind me of that. Phyllis, don't forget, whatever you bring in, you got to give up something. That's the deal. Once I finish doing the decorations and through with it, I'm going to tell you all. I'm through with the decorations. Now, I need you guys' input on this. What should I take out? <laughs> y'all, please don't forget. Please don't forget because I need all the help I can get. I hope you guys don't hear any wind because it's really not any wind. But you can see the corn. Also, you all... I wanted to let you all know that I love you and I'm glad to be able to take you guys on this journey with me <clears throat> and ain't nothing you can do about that love thing <clears throat> and it's hot out here my grandkids are still at home in the bed sleep and I decided to come out here and now that I'm out here it looks like every car want to come so now I'm finna go mosey on down to the grass. <laughs> I just get in the grass with a cornfield over here. It's almost time to harvest this corn. Y'all don't forget, also, I can, I will, I must. And also, I don't want no negativity. I want some positivity. And then, <laughs> oh, walk over and walk away you'll find out you grow from that I don't want no negativity I want positivity and walk away from them because you don't want it you don't want that in your life you don't want to grow from it you can't grow from that it's much easier to grow for something that's positive y'all I know y'all heard me uh, yesterday on camera hopefully that you guys seen it I gotta tell y'all the story on how this woman messed up her great big old blessing. Okay? I ain't at liberty to tell it right now because I gotta move. And uh, I don't wanna do it just yet. But I'm gonna tell you all about it. But I can tell you all this. Be careful the words that you say to somebody. Be careful. Be very careful. And especially 
Ooh, the more I give to this corn, the hotter it get. Fry egg right here, y'all. Uh, it could hurt a person. It can break a person. And then it also to you, you be to the point that you can't sleep. And let me tell you something. When you try to something go on and you go tell your friends about it more and more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep down inside, you know you had a lot to do with it. You had a lot to do with it. Is that when, y'all? So deep down inside, if you did something wrong, tell yourself. Go to the mirror and tell yourself. If you didn't do anything wrong, go to the mirror and tell yourself. But one thing about it, be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. That's the only way it's going to work. Because I uh, did something wrong one time. Numerous of times, yeah. But I always be careful what I say now in my life. And people be telling me, Phyllis, you going to take that? Yeah, a lot of things I take because uh, I want to sleep at night. And I don't want to say a word that might damage me inside my soul and convict me and I have to stay up through the night worried about how bad I said it or what did I say and another thing I didn't see it as I get older you all you never know who you might need I'm telling you I am living with it be careful what you do to people because you don't know if you're gonna need them or not because you're gonna keep living I didn't see it to the point that you know, moseying on about people, moseying on about their life, then went off on a person and everything, and the next thing you know, that person is their caretaker. So it can happen. Accidents happen, foolish things in life happen, and you just really don't know. You don't know if that person later on may be going to the store and you can't even get a ride. That might be that very person that has to help you. I'm not saying you have to sit up there and chit chat and be buddies, but be careful words you say to people because I didn't see it too many times. You're going to need them people someday, probably. And even if you don't need them, just be good. Just be nice to them. And all it does is take to walk away. If you're not pleased with it, walk away. Say what you're going to say and go. Now, sometimes you have to use some words to people sometimes. But don't lose, use them so bad that it hurts you in the end. Walk away. I don't want no negativity. I want positivity. And then walk away. Just walk away. Look, I do best not saying nothing. Lord, just hold my tongue. I know some of y'all been out there doing that in your life. Like, ooh, Jesus, oh, Lord, just hold my tongue. Lord, I don't want to say nothing wrong. Lord, I don't want to say nothing wrong. But just, ooh, ooh. I know it's some of y'all out there because I'm like that too. And also, I wanted to say to you all, um, I have three channels. One channel will be in this name right here, in this hand right here. Okay? That's one channel. The next channel. That's another channel right there. And the next channel right there. So go on over there and see me on my three channels because one of the channels are going to talk about i have one channel with nothing but tiny homes nothing but tiny homes rvs and camping okay then the other channel has nothing to do with anything but farming farming um me might i might be me might be out there i might be out in the field and see someone farming stop them get up on their tractor do certain things with them look at the fields do this do that i might jump off and pick up a limb hey man hold up let's pick this up well hey woman hey let me pick this up out the field okay so that can happen you see me on that so put your mind to it is you're going to see me and my grandkids as I come up with the tiny home. You will see us doing it together. You will see me out there doing grilling. Put your mind to it has all my family values, all my family on there. Everything is on there. Okay. Um, let me see what else did I want to tell you all. I told you all one time before that I'm going to try to upload every day on put your mind to it because uh, I have slow wi-fi there very slow when i say in the country <laughs> whoo 
in the country. We're so far in the country, we don't even have a stop sign there. And also, we don't even have, um, we have a post office, but it's open only one time a week, and it open for two hours. That's it. We don't, we don't have a post office like normal people. Two hours once a week, and sometimes you can catch the postmaster, sometimes you can't, because we don't have that many people there. And the population is very, very small. Very small. That's what I like about it. Me being in the country, uh, being here and living here for a while, I'm looking forward to um, getting all of my stuff together. The reason I hadn't got together so far, everything got so far together, was um, because I paid that one month rent. I want to suck it dry. I want to suck my whole one month rent up. I want to suck it dry. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm gonna pay if I paid all that money for some rent. I want to suck it dry. Also, you guys, you guys see my hat? Yeah, I'm going to get another one. And um, my sister just don't know it yet, but it will be a team of us. It may be some women that gets together. All us women who made our hats. And these hats ain't gonna be perfect, y'all know. I'm just gonna have some dooley dallying on there, and we gonna. We're going to really do it up, y'all. <laughs> me and my sister and who else want to go for the walk in the morning. My brother will walk with me in the morning. Y'all think I should do dial his hat up, too? I got to get some boy stuff for him. Maybe he might have some alligators on here. Yeah, I think I might do. Yeah, I'm going to do his like that because he'll go along with me every day, every morning. He'll go along with me. Uh, let's see what's out here. This is a corn and I'm just talking to you all um, making conversation and let's go look at this this will be put your mind to it so you all don't forget the channel right here channel right here the name of the channel is right here go over there and see it and go see this one. <laughs> go see that one. Yeah, you'll be enthused. <laughs> okay, those are all three of the channels that I have. Stay tuned for the one that's in the country, the farming one. Because the farming one is going to have a lot to do with uh, all of the harvest time and on the trucks and stuff like that. So stay, st stay tuned for the farming one. I really wanted to be here to see this because I'm not a, I'm not, I never seen these before. The peanuts, the peanuts, and the peanuts grows up under the ground. It's amazing. Look that bee. He looks like. Let me see. Can you guys see it? See that bee? It's a bee in there. I don't know if you guys can see the bee. There he goes. Alrighty. But this is all peanuts. And y'all might see sweat on me. It's the darnest thing about this day, this year. Now I'm burning. I'm I'm really hot out here, but I'm not hot. If I'm in the field, I barely rarely get hot. I don't understand it because I guess I'm doing something I like and it doesn't bother me. Now it's hot and I'm sweaty, but it don't bother me. Now when I have to just go and do something like, if I had to go to the beach, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. 
I cannot do the beach thing too long. Looks like they just knocked that grass down. It's been sprayed, so. In other words, I can't get it for JoJo and Mr. Jingles. I was going to get them some fresh hay, but that's been sprayed with chemical, so I can't get that. You all, I just can't wait to go home. I'm ready to go home. And I was messed up for a while there. Didn't know what I wanted to do. But just keep living and you'll find out. I'm on my way home and I guess maybe I could chit chat with y'all while I'm on my way home yeah you guys I don't know if you remember my niece with the nine children that's 33 years old with nine kids and Yaya was in my video one of her children named Yaya she even came to Alabama to visit so you guys will be seeing her again uh, and the nine kids will probably be at my house a lot They'll probably be around there. We'll make it work in that tiny house, believe me. Family means everything. Because I will be having a lot of cookouts. We will be having a lot of cookouts. And also, I will be getting some of them. We're going to have TV days. A lot of times, we're going to stay in the house. But that's okay. In the tiny home. Mm. Um, with the tiny home, you are... Uh, remind me what I need to get I know I need to get the roof there go the wind y'all sorry about that y'all see the here the wind the roof the electrician I guess you know what my brother does a lot of that work and every day I'll be bringing in something maybe paneling maybe wiring but once again with the wire they said I could get the box for an extra $500 and they would run three circuit lines for me where I could have three electric wires and one overhead light they will run for $500. I'm going to wonder and I'm finna, I'm going to go check the price on me doing it myself and see how much it is for the box. I'm thinking about if I can y'all, y'all let me know. Oh, is this just some huge corn or is that just me looking at this corn y'all let me know it look like some huge corn right here uh, look at this one right here this just looked big to me off a of distance it is big off a of distance it looked like some huge corn y'all See how that one is? I guess because it's opened up. I guess because it may because it was opening up and it looks like that. So all right. Look, I grabbed this one. I gotta take the husk off and not give it to Jojo and Mr. Jingles because I think it's been sprayed. I know it has been sprayed. Mm. I never got a chance to take any pictures of the crop dusters that be spraying over the head. Never got a chance to do it. When a car comes, I turn the camera so you guys won't have to look at it. I try to turn it to nature. That's pretty out there. Uh, my grandkids are going to be glad that I'm going to the country. Uh, usually with D, he likes to go outside and move around. But his mom and dad have to work so much. They have to get a sitter. 
and he's always inside. This way he's not inside anymore. He'll be outside. I got to tie those bikes down on top of my truck and get them on back home for him. So that means I got to go get some bungee cords and some other stuff to take back. I figured that I couldn't let them go. I couldn't let them go. So I said, you know what? God, things have got to change. I only have that one friend. And I found myself crying because they were going back. Now, I know this journey ain't going to be easy. Because I got to get used to a whole lot of things. But it's worth it in the end. Because you guys know, family means everything. You can always get my material thing. That's why I say I'm going to leave most of all this stuff here. I can easily go get me a washer and dryer. And plus, I need a stack up washer and dryer. One that stacks. I can't get the one that, um, two of them. I need a stackable one. Yeah. Just look at this sweat on my head. On my chest. But I'm almost at home. Y'all, I gotta drive five hours to get home. Five hours. And like I said, I want to take, when I get there, I want that house dropped. I'm going to go start looking at the tiny home so you guys are going to go along with me. You all are going to go along with me and where I live at. And we're going to go sightseeing. We're going to go. Uh, my little buddy will be with me all the time. D hangs with me. My little buddy going to go with me. The rest of them ain't going to hardly want to have nothing to do with me. So you are 